guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film my January, February, March, my March favorites. Um, yeah, so I don't have that many, um, but I thought I would show you the stuff that I do have and that I have been loving this month and been using a ton. So let's just get right into it and we'll make this video super short and sweet. Um, so the first thing that I have been absolutely loving um, makeup wise is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. Um, I have a review on this so I won't talk too much about it. Um, I'll link the video down below. But um, I am in the color, well, I guess it's 150 Nude. Um, that is what it looks like. But I absolutely love this foundation. I'm actually wearing it today, and it goes on super sheer, but it's a very buildable foundation to a full coverage. So I would say that this foundation is medium to full coverage, um, but I just love it because it's not tacky. You know, like sometimes when you put um, foundation on, how it like feels tacky, and you just want to like take it off real quick because you feel like you have a mask on. This does not feel like that whatsoever. And what I set it with is the Nearly Naked Powder. And in the powder, I am in 30 medium. But I, I, this is another powder that I absolutely also love. Um, it's a really creamy part of my nails. It's just like a really creamy powder, and it doesn't go on cakey whatsoever. I get super oily through my T-zone, and I'm dry around the ends of my, the ends, <laughs> the outer perimeter of my face, and this definitely keeps me matte pretty much all day long. Um, I will say, um, I have some oils that peekaboo through my nose, um, about halfway through the day, but for the most part, this works super well, especially if I set it with my setting spray. Um, so those are my first first two favorite things keeping in the line of makeup the next things that I have been super loving this month are the Rimmel Rimmel London perfect match these are the um, skin tone adapting concealer so I have two of them so the first one I use is like a spot like I put it over like my little spots like my little acne problem areas and this one is um, it says it's a two-in-one concealer and a highlighter and the color of this one is 335 light medium and that is what it looks like. And again, um, I use this just like all my little problem areas and then dab them out with either my Precision, um, my P88, I think it is, through Sigma. Or I just use the warmth of my finger and just kind of tap it out. So it has this super nice brush applicator on it, which makes it super easy and um, easy to like control. So this is the first one that I've been loving. And then the second one is the exact same thing, but this is one that I bought. I got this in Fair, so it's in 125 Fair. And I love this one as an under eye highlight. Oh my goodness, totally love it. It is the perfect under eye highlight. So I just bought it in like a couple shades lighter obviously and I just put it in the triangle underneath my eye and it just gives me this like perfectly well rested like completely just takes away my dark under eye circles and everything so I definitely say go pick these up because I two thumbs up them each love these so, the next thing that I have been loving, and this has been talked about all over YouTube, everybody loves it, and I have to admit I love it as well, but it is the MAC Lipstick in Creme de la Femme, and it is a frost finish. Can you see that? Is it going to focus? Creme de la Femme. And it is a frost finish, so this is what it looks like. It's pulling off more purple than it really is, but it is the most beautiful flesh tone nude, like this really pretty pink nude. That's what it looks like. I have it on today, but I absolutely love it. It's just a really pretty, like I'll do a bold eye with this lip and it looks perfect, or I'll do like this lip with like a neutral eye and then I'll put like a gloss over it just to make it super shiny so my lip stands out but I definitely recommend this um, lipstick. I also heard a good dupe for it is Primrose from I forget who the brand is, but I'll figure it out and I'll link it down below. But if you're not into spending a lot of money on this lipstick, there is a really good dupe for it. Um, but I'll find it out and I'll link it in the down bar. Um, so that's kind of all for makeup. Um, now we can jump into 
Well, since makeup is like a face thing, let's stay with my face stuff. The next thing that I have absolutely been loving are these face masks. I love these. I recommend everybody right this second jump on Amazon or go to now.com. Um, it's actually not now.com. It's pureformulas.com pure and order these. I kid you not. Best clay face mask there is out there. And I have tried tons of them. Tons, 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 tons. Love these. This was like $7 on Amazon. There's two different kinds that you can get. Um, the for it, So I guess I should tell you a little bit about it before I keep like telling you how much I love it. It is the Now Solutions European Clay Powder. It's 100% natural so there is no parabens fillers anything bad that's going to irritate your skin um it is a facial detox 100 percent pure um so it works super super good so the one thing that i love about it, it it not only has it like gotten rid of my blackheads not all of my blackheads but it is definitely um like diminished the set like the look of my blackheads works great. Also, it shrunk my pores. So if you have big pores, and I've also had a couple of friends try it, it's just a really great face mask. So there's two different kinds you can get. There is the Moroccan Red Clay Powder. So if you are more dry, sensitive skin, get the Moroccan Red um, Clay Powder. This one's for more dry, sensitive skin. So it's not as like a crunchy burning like sucking feeling on your face if that makes sense but that's what clay does so it just sucks all the oil out of your skin but I've been using these masks about twice a week and I have seen a dramatic dramatic difference on my t-zone where my oil pops through and when I went to Texas I just got back from Texas I was there for about four four days I did not use this and I saw a huge difference when I came back and did my makeup, my oil started coming through again like this stuff rocks. So the other one is the European, just the clay powder, and it's more green. This is more for oily skin. But what the back says is, um, normal combination oily skin types in need of detoxification as well as smaller pore size. So like I said, it will definitely shrink your pores. But um, it's 100% pure natural. I could go on and on about it. I'll leave the link in the down bar where you can buy this, but I promise you, you will not regret buying it. Let me tell you something real quick. What it is, is it's a powder. Let me know if you want me to do like a more in-depth review on this. Um, and I will because it's awesome. I think I will. I'm going to do that. So anyways, just go buy it. You'll love it. I promise. Um, so the next two things I have to talk about are, let's talk about nail polishes. I have been loving these Essie nail polishes. They are just the um, Lux Effects um, from Essie. And they are just these really beautiful, like I love to do an accent nail, like part of my nails today, especially in the summer. So these have, these are like the perfect nail polishes just for like little accent nails. So there's a pink, a silver, and a blue. Blue, blue, blue. The pink is called A Cut Above. The silver, sparkly, is called Set in Stones. Looks like diamonds. Gotta love it. And the blue one is called Stroke of Brilliance. So I definitely recommend these. They're just great for accent nails. They're all over. And I put them on my toes and they look super cute like um, glitter toes. Gotta love it. So the last two things, we'll do a perfume. The perfume I've been loving this month is the Betsy Johnson. It is, uh, it smells so delicious. And it has a really weird lid on top, which is fun. So makes you feel fun when you take it off to spray it on yourself. But it smell, it's more of a florally, um, florally smell. But it has been so fun for like spring just because it's just like a more florally deep set smell but I definitely love this and I am one that loves fruity so I was surprised when I figured out that I like this so yeah just go ahead and try it um you can get a sample at Sephora but I absolutely love this perfume and my last favorite of the month is a hair care item I have been loving this Redken extreme anti-snap leave-in treatment for distressed hair so as you all know I bleach my own hair and Let's all be honest here. I got me some fried pieces up in this mane of mine. But um, I've been loving this. Every time I wash my hair, I just put it through my ends and kind of comb it through. And it, I have definitely seen a difference just from using this. Um, so, yeah, I also recommend this. 
But these are all of my favorites for this month. So why don't, if you guys want, leave me comments down below and let me know what your favorites of this month were. Or leave me a video response because I love watching them. But yes, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.